Hey, it's Thursday. Time for another Action Figure Adventures video here on SEO Tour Review. Today, we're taking a look at a G.I. Joe Collector's Club exclusive figure. Bonsai, the Ninja Commando. Pause it here to read Bonsai's bio. I love that his bio says he's an expert with nunchucks, but he doesn't come with any. Bonsai is the 13th figure from Figure Subscription Service 8. All of the G.I. Joe Collector's Club subscription service series, you get to know who 12 of the figures are you're going to get, and the 13th figure is sort of a surprise. Sometimes they're really cool figures, sometimes they're really unexpected figures, uh, sometimes they're okay figures. Bonsai is great if you were trying to complete the G.I. Joe Ninja Force, and if you're not really into those wacky 90s figures, I don't know, you might be kind of disappointed with them. So this is the first time Bonsai has been released without a gimmick. The original Ninja Force figures all had wacky karate chop action type things built into them that would be recycled into the Street Fighter figures from G.I. Joe. So this is a standard, modern action figure uh, with good articulation and no wacky karate chop action. Bonsai is dressed in purple and black. He's got a harness on with ninja stars and knives and lots of buckles and things like that. Again, I'm not sure if this was recycled. This might actually be original because it's pretty unusual looking. He's got a bare chest and bare arms. He has some gauntlets on. He comes with a set of sheaths that can hold swords that just pegs into his back like a backpack. It looks nice. And of course, he's wearing black pants with some purple knee pads and boots. He's got articulation at the head. All the rest of the Standard articulation you would expect on a G.I. Joe with the shoulders and elbows, wrist articulation, no rockers at the wrist. Some of the modern Joes have those. He's got decent hip articulation. It's not hindered too badly by his harness. A little bit in the legs there, moving forward and back. They move out to the side just fine. He's got double jointed knees. He's got rockers at the ankles that are really nice. And I have to say, despite him not being a super exciting character, not being somebody that everyone is going to die to have, he is an original vintage figure re-released in a modern style, and they did a pretty good job with the figure. Now, I'm not looking at him compared to the original one, so I don't know if every detail is spot on, but I think he looks pretty decent. Along with Bonsai's sheath and swords, he comes with a figure stand with his name on it. He has two sides. I love how all his accessories have paint apps on them with like the wraps on the handles and stuff like that. It really does help make it feel like a premium figure. His size can be stored in these loops on his belt. At least I assume that's what those are there for. So he could technically holster everything but his sickle weapon. But, you know, there's just enough room for him to carry that in his hands. So he can carry all his gear. Unlike the original Ninja Force figures who came with way too many weapons and no working holsters. Bonsai would not have necessarily been my top choice for a 13th exclusive figure, but I would rather get an update of a vintage American release figure than another repaint foreign exclusive. Thanks for watching this Action Figure Adventures video. Do Baby Skeletor a favor, hit that like and subscribe button.